Got some new Zoids. So the first Zoid we're going to take a look at today is called Spino Sapper. He's a little Helic Republic Zoid. He's something like a successor to the Godos. He's pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, the motor on mine does seem to be broken. I got him used. Winding the little uh, wind-up motor seems to do absolutely nothing. Poor little guy. But it's pretty cool. I love this thing. It's kind of small, but it's got cool chainsaws on its back and on little posable arms so they can, you know, flip up and down. Got a little gun on his tail, and he sits one guy in his head. Oh, look, the little pilot's even still in there. He's a good little Zoid. I just need to find him a home. I'm thinking maybe over there by the Snipe Masters and the King Ogiluses. Hmm, it's not a bad spot. He might stay here for a while. I might move him later, but eh, that's not bad. And the second Zoid we're looking at today is called uh, Megaleon. Megaleon? It was also called uh, Chameleor. It's a pretty interesting little guy. He's a little chameleon Zoid. Uh, he's made of a lot of translucent plastic, which is interesting. He's got a funny looking set of eyeballs, and his tongue slides in and out. I guess there's also supposed to be a little pilot guy that uh, sits in the fork of his tongue like he's being grabbed, but I did get this one used, so he doesn't come with that little guy. But that's all right. That's fine. Definitely interesting. This dude's pretty small, so I don't think I'm going to put him on the battlefield. Since he's made of translucent plastic, I think I should put him in the case. Yeah, there we go. Put him next to the War Shark. Again, sorry for the dark case. I have to put my, I have to plug my lights back in. I was using the uh, USB extenders for Christmas. I think he'll do right, fine right there next to the War Sharks and the Ligers. Yeah. Always fun getting you Zoids.